Thank you to everyone in the last video who pointed out I was getting my watts and threshold and tempo all muddled up. What a mess. I blame it on tiredness. I don't know, it's just a constant feeling at the moment of tiredness. Trying to find some time to get on the bike has been really difficult. Firstly, got the cold back again. It goes away and comes back. Feel rubbish for a couple of days. I can't wait until we get a bit of hot weather. Hopefully it can just get rid of these just I don't know is anyone else getting this just sniffles and colds and headaches and runny nose for a couple of days and then it goes away and then comes back oh, it's been really frustrating um, but also just life life with small kids and stuff has just been really hard but I'm committed this week it's Monday I am going to try my hardest to get on as often as I can this week starting today I'm going to get on and do I think it's the London Greater Flat or something part of this big wheel Zwift big wheel event or something uh, so I'm gonna get changed and jump on now I'm gonna take it quite easy as you know based upon the last video and stuff but uh, gives me a reason to get on and do something rather than just ride um, how I, I don't think I'll stay in with any of the other groups or anything but uh, it'll be good just to have a ride so I'm gonna get on and do that and I'll let you know how it went I really enjoyed that ride as I've said before no targets in terms of what or what I was doing um just jump on and, and ride but i felt quite strong um it was weird i don't know whether i just put i put there was one moment sort of goes downhill into the tunnel in london uh only a small downhill but i put i think it was a draft power up and it just sort of carried me all the way along the riverside it was really weird <laughs> I was sort of flying past people but i felt quite strong i felt like i enjoyed it and after a while settled down into a bit of a group actually that sort of took it in turns to, to pull the group along and a um, couple of moments being the bigger guy that I am having to you know those small 2% inclines that just go on for a little while having to push a little bit harder to make sure I don't lose, lose the back of them uh, but I managed it and I felt really good I could put out the extra watts that I needed to to stay with them and no adverse side effects so feels whilst i've not done a lot of riding recently it feels quite good to have that kind of comfort back to be able to push myself a little bit and uh and enjoy it as well so thumbs up for that one really enjoyed it and i got oh i got the uh the union jack bucket hat <laughs> so i'll put that on put that on straight away but uh, yeah, so I don't. I might do that right again. There's a few things on that spinny wheel at the end that you can win. Maybe I'll do that again later. I quite enjoy being part of a big group, taking the benefit of the draft as well, which is quite nice. But uh, yeah, good fun. And uh, it won't be the only time I get on the bike this week. It's Friday lunchtime. With all the intentions in the world, this week has got away from me a little bit again. It is currently raining again. Uh, we had a couple of days where it wasn't and I do tend to try and get out on a on a weekday for a quick walk at lunchtime but I'm not going to do that in the rain so actually I'm going to use that time and I'm going to get on the bike for half an hour probably just going to ride around with a pace partner I think that's what I'm going to do um, I did toy with the idea of doing another one of the big spin rides uh, to try and get something else other than the bucket hat um, which I might change my mind at the last minute and do but the timing doesn't really add up with what time it is now. It's nearly 12 o'clock, so I'd have to wait a little bit longer and I won't really have as much time, so maybe I won't. I think I'm just going to jump on and ride with a pace partner. Get another ride in. Well, that's my 30 minutes done. Just riding around with Bernie. Is it Bernie? Yeah, D Bernie. You can see I'm still having a few dropout issues with my heart rate. It's dropped out there. Don't know why. And interestingly, it's not... Well, maybe it is still connected to my watch, but I've not used the watch to record the workout because I forgot to press start. And my uh, RPM keeps shooting up over 100, weirdly, when I'm clearly not doing that, but I don't know. Aside from that, good ride. 30 minutes in on a lunch break, can't complain. And uh, try and get on again over the weekend, maybe for something a little bit, a little bit longer starting to feel a lot better so uh, yeah i'll catch you later another really positive ride there really enjoying being back on the bike i did get on again yesterday today is sunday so i rode yesterday on saturday so that is two rides in two days which for me is another big box ticked really um i've never really been done one for riding two days in a row my 
being a bigger guy, my uh, my back side gets a little bit sore, um, and I did struggle a little bit yesterday, but I thought I'd get on and do another one of those big wheel spin things, the big uh, the big spin, and just see if I can get something different to the bucket hat. The ride itself, I looked at the the data comparing the ride on Monday to yesterday, and the watts were almost identical. Um, yeah, pretty much. I almost I I took a little bit longer, and I was in a group that. We didn't quite work together as well as they did on the Monday that I, when I did the ride it felt a little bit more disjointed It felt a little bit more like I was having was putting out a little bit more effort. So it was a little bit more difficult uh, Maybe that's a two rides in two days things although it was only half an hour on Thursday but I did it. I felt really strong again same average watts identical average watts slightly slower and at the end I got another bucket hat <laughs> so I've done it twice and got the, the hat both times but just talking about being stronger again there were moments in that in fact at the end of that ride yesterday there were two guys two people up for, uh, ahead of me on the uh, on the road coming up to the finish line and I thought to myself should I give it a go should I see if I can catch them and I did put out a bit of effort a bit of a sprint and I caught them just on the line and there were no side effects and stuff so I'm, I'm starting to feel that I can push a little bit more I could sustain efforts a little bit more on the bike and I just generally feel a lot stronger. So that side is getting there, which is really, really good. Away from the bike, I'm starting to feel better as well. My stomach issues have calmed down. I'm getting the odd thing here or there where it's a little bit uncomfortable. But the big thing for me is, I've mentioned in the previous few videos, just getting to like five, six o'clock and feeling absolutely exhausted. And it's not just a tiredness, I don't think, from having a little one. It was just, my body just wanted to shut down uh, and just do nothing. And that's, I look back and I realise that's gone. It's one of those weird progress things where you, you look back on a couple of weeks ago, oh, that's changed, but you don't really notice it when you're in that moment. So it's been really, really good. I've not, I have felt tired because we've got a little one. In fact, last night was an awful night because she's teething. So we were up quite a lot. Um, so you might tell that I'm feeling a little bit tired this morning. But it's not the exhaustion I was feeling like my body just wanting to do nothing. So I feel like finally I'm heading in the right direction. I'm getting over all those problems that I've had. It's taken a while, hasn't it? What we nearly the end of March, uh, and that all happened at the end of December. So it, it takes a little while. Who knows? Was it the COVID? Was it the hospital visit? What was it that caused it? I don't know. But the thing is, I'm coming. Feel like I'm coming out the other side, and maybe, maybe another week or two, and I could start give putting some bigger efforts out on the bike the one thing that i've really enjoyed about the three rides this week is i had no set plan whatsoever i just got on and i rode the two rides that i did around london in the big spin i just found a group found myself in a group and i sat with them if i started falling off the back i pushed a little bit to catch in with them to make sure i didn't lose the group just so that i could enjoy riding in it in group get a bit of the draft as well do it a bit quicker um, and obviously the ride that I did with the pace partner as well was just whatever I needed to do to keep up with the pace partner. So whilst I've not, I spoke about it in the last video, having targets and trying to do certain things and, you know, zone two rides or threshold rides or whatever it is, that's out the window and I'm just enjoying being on the bike and I am really enjoying it. Looking forward to getting on for the next ride. Fitting it around family life, which is fun. <laughs> it's a fun thing to try to do. But the positive thing is I started this week saying I'm going to get on the bike. I've done it. I've done it three times uh, and I'm really happy I'm finishing the week really, really positively. The aim now has to be to try and increase the time on the bike. The last couple of rides this week have been 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I want to try and get back up towards that hour mark, get some more time in the saddle that way. When I get the, do get the opportunity to jump on and then, you know, hopefully back up to those longer rides that we I used to do with a T2.5 group. Uh, at the end of the month and then also try and maybe might be jumping the gun a little bit here but getting back to racing as well but uh, we shall see uh, i want to mention actually the doctor's appointment you remember i had that scan on my heart um i haven't heard anything i gave them a call said you know i was told to give you a call after a couple of weeks if i haven't heard anything uh, and she said well that's wrong your results will go back to the doctor who requested them which i found out was the doctor who the lead doctor at the hospital when I was admitted into hospital. Um, so I've just got to wait to hear from him. Maybe I won't if there was nothing in it. 
or maybe it just takes a little while um, for them to review and decide what to do, I don't know. But if anything comes out, I will let you know. Um, a huge thank you to all the channel members going up the screen now. Your support is amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, but that is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.